throat cancer is acting up. Now wouldn't that be hilarious? Look at this guy. Look at this dude. So how does he close his mouth without stabbing his own jaw or, you know, his own gums or tongue or something, you know? Or do, does he just retract the fucking things? Do they turn into smoke? I mean, his entire being turns into smoke, including his clothes. Uh, yeah, video games. McBoars, how the fuck do you live like this? Go see a dentist, Jesus. Anywho, welcome back to the stream, or welcome to the stream, to the channel, to the VOD, to the whatever you're seeing. I don't know. It's not my place to know. Look at that poor, poor, poor grape mass. <laughs> whatever that is. So idyllic, so tranquil, peace. Until you realize there's murder on every corner, and then you, and then you breathe a sigh of relief. Ah, medieval times, death, beautiful. Anyways, you're continuing with the uh, main story, I think. Because we have to, if you want to unlock a new skill tree or whatever at the very end of the game. I guess it's fine if you do the DLC before you finish the main story, but... If you do it in chrono order, then... What the fuck? I guess it's good for, uh... New Game Plus. Meh. <laughs> Something I would never do, because what the fuck? There's no point. Ah! Do a new game plus two. Instead of romancing Triss, now I romance Jennifer. Oh, fuck that. Something is very loud here. Hello? Oh, fuck plants. Fuck plants. Quick. Where, where is my... Oh, I remember why my clothes are not on. 500 crowns. Yeah, alright. Clothes are staying off. We don't need clothes, but we are going. Aha! We don't need swords either! I mean, we actually do need to be... Fuck my ears, dude! Aha! You foolish player! Hiya! on me so I can hear. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to say that anymore. Oh. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that either. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at all these useful, uh, colorful items. Look at all these family-friendly items. These, oops. It's brand friendly items. No combat. We just kind of Regis. Couldn't have picked some other place to meet. We're just, you know. Doing some herbalism stuff, you know? It's it's all it's all fine. It's it's peaceful. These plants are sick. And we have to kind of help them. We have to be there at not times. It's kind of difficult to pinpoint where the enemy is when you only have one ear that hurts. <laughs> See, these cool plants are sick. I have to help them. sleeps now. You see? 
It must be done. What is this? Oh no, it's a depressed ghoul. You have to have this depressed ghoul with our flame therapy. Flaming Hot Cheetos. Hashtag not sponsored. Yet. <laughs> You have to clean up after people because they leave all their junk in the cemetery. So when you see loot and you think, wow, stealing offerings from the dead, no, no, no. It's junk people just leave here. Like, why would you leave here golden plates, you know? What a big mistake. I found a hole. I think I'm going to use this hole instead of that hole. Perfect. Oh look, I found a corpse. Oh, there's probably gonna be flathers or something like that. Decaying bones. Kiki Moors. Kiki Moors must have tunneled into the grave. Oh. Kiki Moors. And vittles are plenty around here. There's always Kiki Moor. I'm sure nobody made that pun ever. On account of that of it being so bad. My friends, stop! So the beast theory says that one city more worker is easy for a child to kill. But these guys stun with your Oh. We're done. That's fine. We can take them. By eating <laughs> potatoes. Done. Are they gonna spawn the boss now? All right. These are also sick creatures we have to help to the other side, you know? Kiki more eggs. Need to incinerate all the ash. Before you cry, so race or purge. It's not. These are sick Kiki more. See those little blisters on its skin? Yeah? This one had cancer. Final stage. I had to help. It's very brand friendly. <laughs> Anyways, Twitch is, Twitch is doing a nasty and is going to keep tabs on people according to their brand friendliness. So, if someone is a small time streamer, maybe a startup affiliate, maybe not even affiliate. Such as myself. Well, you better take some acting classes and uh, mask your true self and become brand friendly as fuck. Because saying things like fuck and being not PC, well, you're not gonna get any any good stuff coming your way. So I'm interested to see how that unfolds. Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? What if Kira never gives me the artifact? What if I kill Kira in that quest? As, I, as I've done before, but... <clears throat> that never happened in this universe, in this save. Hmm. But there's a room behind it, but not much more, so... Safe to open this. Interesting. Whoa. What if I light up the place? Yeah. I can actually see. Hmm. Oh, an Elder Scroll. Hell yeah. Look at that. An Elder's Scroll. Let's read it. Once the game loads in the menus. Ah, it's it's an other. I can I could just sell it without reading. Here arrests Sir Ramon of Gikon. 
On my grave you will not find the likeness of the man once lived. I gave my heart, soul and body to the knightly craft and I wish to be remembered as a knight. A symbol of chivalry is a naked sword. You can't say that. Let's censor the word. Censor the N word. <coughs> <laughs> and that symbol rests above me. The sword that defended my honor, my friends, and my heart. We're gonna steal the sword, basically. So that was closer to me than a brother. I mean, you can't hold a brother in your arm and swing them. Unless, unless you can. Say your brother was a stillbirth and they are a, a little fetus or like a half developed baby corpse with the uh, umbilical cord attached and uh, you put it in formaldehyde and preserve it or something and then you can swing your brother around like, <laughs> like a flail wow that's not very brand friendly is it just imagine swinging your um... <laughs> Let, let's not <clears throat> so that was never stained by the blood of an innocent man but a lot of innocent women <laughs> This is fucking gold and material to fucking shit on. They rest on this stone through the ages. Well, I'm sorry to say that, but this might summon an angry wraith. I don't know, but I'm taking Castle's brother. Right. I named thee the Fetus Sword. It's garbage. Why did you drop. What? This one is selected. Cursor is on it, I press R to drop, and it drops the sword next to it. Is that, is that another game of the year uh, moment here? Are we, are we having another game of the year moment? Alright, you're not. Maybe I didn't select it, I just hovered over it and this was still selected. And when I dropped it, it automatically selected the other thing. Oh yeah, okay. It was an I fucked up moment, alright. I know when to admit that I fucked up. And it's only when it's 100% evident that I have. Or that, that I did. There you go, Geralt. Look that. Very good, Geralt. You're a fine man. This feels like a... Some kind of... One person Unity game. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Maybe I have high standards, I don't know. But when you make a game that is game of the year for decades and is a country's best game, then kind of glitching textures and stuff like that shouldn't shouldn't be there. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed to meet a vampire at a cemetery. How much more cliche can you get? <laughs> Nothing comes readily to mind. Though we did not meet, so I could prove how very original I am. True enough. Need to find your friend. I'm hoping you'll agree to help. I shall do whatever's in my power. Yet what you want or even need must matter little. What matters is what Detlaf wants. If he does not wish to be found, you will not find him. Ever. End of story. Goodbye. Come on. Gotta be some way. Mm. Vampires can evade detection by the senses. And no divination magic works on us. Even the most precise megascope would be useless. And this? Could this help? His hand. Wherever did you get that? Off one of the beast's victims, found by a bend in the river. Body was chopped in pieces. Three of those pieces were hands. Hand with the ring seemed the odd one out. But Bruxa had taken an interest in it. Alright, I'm not one to kink shame, but that's kind of fucked. He's gonna eat it. It's Detlaf's hand, without a doubt. It will do splendidly. How was his hand chopped off? Did he... Chop it off accidentally while he was chopping up the person. <laughs> he went so ham, he chopped off his own hand. Good job, that love. 
crazy. Ring's pretty intriguing. Made of no metal I've ever seen. <laughs> the ornamentation. It comes from our home. Where we lived before the conjunction of spheres. It's actually mine. I received it from They came from another place friend. as well. You might call him a humanist. He saw us vampires as guests here. Guests who owe their hosts, meaning you humans and the elder races, respect. Respect? Meaning not to treat us like cattle to be slaughtered for food? Precisely. And the reason why I in turn gave it to Detlaf. To remind him of the ideals my old friend championed. The hand. What do you plan to do with it? You've heard of Covinaris's theory of tissue. Corona. Attention. Hmm. Corona a distant bell. <laughs> read about it in Alchemia Obliterae. There's a copy of Kaer Morin, tattered, nearly disintegrated. But if memory serves, Covinarius never managed to prove it worked. <laughs> he did prove it, just never managed to publish his findings. He and I corresponded, you see, after we became friends. Thus, I know he completed his research and performed the first tests. It's complicated, so without delving into details, it is possible to use any piece of tissue to reconstruct what a whole body experienced. How's it work? We need any special equipment? We must brew a decoction which Kobinaris gave a rather poetic name, Resonance. Once imbibed, it sends one into a trance similar to that induced by narcotics. This triggers visions of events linked to strong emotions experienced by the tissue's owner. Picture it as dreaming a fragment of someone's life. Any chance we might see what Deadloff was doing just before he lost his hand? Indeed. Though I also hope Resonance will reveal the location of Deadloff's hideout. That might be TOS, you know? You know what I mean? What he was doing before he lost his hand? <laughs> Turns out he's an acrophiliac. Uh, or we might just cause a Resonance cascade, you know? Just drink Resonance and just blow up. Can't you just summon Detloff? You're both higher vampires, there's gotta be a way. If I'm to be entirely candid, there is indeed one. But believe me, we will be better off never availing ourselves of it. It is a last resort. Absolutely. Last resort? The hell. Why? Uh... Plot, that's why. There is a being who can summon Detloff. Possesses the authority, even the power, to force him to appear in a given place. But the very act of contacting this being well, it's akin to walking a slack line extended over a chasm filled with molten lava. An exercise as perilous to me as it would be to you. A risk I'm unwilling to take. I beg you, let's do it my way. It oh, will be both I want to see the easier. lava. Can't you just so basically that it's like you're both higher vampires. I could, be but here's a last resort. Uh, here's a bullshit explanation of why you shouldn't do that. You know, so. You play more of the game and we don't just end it like, yeah, I'm gonna summon him. Bloop, well, he's summoned, stab, done. Summon him inside my sword. Done. <laughs> Covenarius spent half his life proving his theory. Wild guess. Making a dose of resonance won't be easy. You guess correctly. In addition to Detlaf's tissue, we shall need a powerful occipital lobe stimulant. Effectively a poison to make one susceptible wow. to visions. Hmm. Well, got a few ingredients to choose from. Unfortunately, all are pretty rare. There's my moon glands, but closest ones I know of are in Vizima. A spotted white saliva would also serve, but they were called to extinction over a century ago. Could go with a kobold's eyes, but the creatures are sentient. I'd rather not gouge one's eyes out. Hmm. Given that we lack the time to sleuth this out ourselves, permit me to summon some help. Oh, but he can summon some help. He's gonna summon a kobold who's willing to give a die or something. It's gonna crawl away. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it started twitching as, as they all left. It hears them. He's dead. A bird? <gasps> oh, did it just did it plan just pop in? What was that? <laughs> a raven? 
rather a common sight at this latitude. Very intelligent fowl. They are. I asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned. Him and his brethren. Perhaps they'll find one in the area, and I would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would. With all due respect your skills, my friend. It will take them some time, nonetheless. So, perhaps you'd care for a snifter of mandrake. I could use that to create white gold, so I shouldn't drink it. Nah. <laughs> Rarely say no to a snifter. Oh yeah. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. Now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? We chose to misunderstand. I don't want to talk. Geralt, that's not very brand friendly. You have to engage with people so you have to Everyone's talk everyone's got some secret i agree wholeheartedly i also believe it wise at times to share one's secrets unburden oneself to those one can trust this your sophisticated way of asking me if i trust you i prefer almost always to ask you directly it seems a test of intelligence one you just passed huh. maybe you should go first reveal one of your secrets after all you vampires lead very interesting lives. Anything in particular interest you? Know what? Let's talk later. Should have just skipped the lore. Got a new life, new body. That give you a new start, blank slate. Starting all anew is a very broad concept. What exactly do you mean? Your blood addiction, say. Wondering if your body's the same, if it still remembers. Maybe if you drank now, you wouldn't get hooked. All addictions are a form of slavery. Re-addiction's not a risk I'm willing to take, just to test a hypothesis about corporeal regeneration and whether propensities carry over. Fair enough. Curiosity, that's all. Sorry. Not to worry, Geralt. Curiosity's a natural reaction under the circumstances, apart from which I've always valued that trait in you. What's it like being dead? Uh, clearly he's undead, not dead, but still. Always fascinated me the way vampires can regenerate. A hand growing back is one thing, but Detloff recreating you out of a wet smear? Something else entirely. A difficult and laborious process, but one that's possible, as my presence proves. But, but, I've heard you too had but... quite the adventure. They say you lost your memory. I don't remember that. <clears throat> a bit, but Triss helped me get it back. Actually, pretty damn lucky I only had amnesia. Yes, you humans are rather buggered in those terms. To strip you of life is, well, it's just plain easy. I've always pitied you in that regard. Oh well. We vampires are much harder nuts to crack. If a member of another race kills one of us, we can be reborn with a living higher vampire's help. However, if one of our own strikes the deadly blow, death is permanent. There can be no rebirth. One of the chief reasons why vampires long ago swore never to fight one another. That's very convenient. Ah, I died. But wait, let's check who killed me. Mm, ah, it was a human, that's alright. I'm just gonna wait until someone comes along and revives me. Oh wait. Hold on. That wasn't a human. That was another vampire in disguise. No. I cannot be revived ever. I'm dead. That's fucking stupid, if you ask me. Curious what you did after you were reborn. As I'm sure you can surmise, but first I was thoroughly absorbed with recovering. As it is, I still not recovered completely. Yet I was so weak the first year that I could not stand nor move on my own. Detlaf bore my weakness bravely, showed great patience. If not for him, I wouldn't be here, and I'd have regenerated far slower. Once I could at last stand unassisted, I set off for Bruges, for my one-time home of Dillingen. There I led the peaceful life of a rural healer and surgeon, 
enjoying my neighbour's respect and, in fact, constituting the exact opposite of the monstrous vampire the populace imagines. Bruges, you say? Rebirth make you sentimental? Perhaps, Sir Dash. But what of you? Where have you been? Ever find your Cirilla? Back then, yeah. But we parted again soon after. And when the time was ripe, she came back. Defeated the wild hunt together. Ooh. Seemed I certainly missed quite a bit while I was absent. True enough. But it's a conversation we'll have another time. Need to know more about you now. Gotta ask you the big question. What everyone wonders about. What happens after death? Why? You wish me to tell you if the human belief in the gods is well founded? Well, that I do not know. We vampires differ exceedingly from you humans. Our matter, that of which we are composed, can exist without form. We require neither a heart, nor a brain, nor air to breathe. But were you dead? As humans understand death, yes. Feel anything? Understand anything? Hmm. It's rather hard to explain. I felt something very unsettling. Something I cannot even name, for I did no reasoning. Only after rebirth did I begin to understand that what I had felt was cold the and void. unimaginable fear. If not for Detlef, I might have drowned in an eternity of icy terror. I see terror. Can't have been alive then. Sheesh, experience like that must be vicious. Mm. Indeed, it's it's hard to compare to anything I know. Yet you are aware we don't see death as you do. The way you cling to life, we find it entirely peculiar. You are mortals. Ergo, it's a foregone conclusion. You will die. <laughs> it's but a question of time. Thus, I often find myself wondering why you try so very hard. To die? <laughs> to die at 20 years, 40, even 100. <laughs> What's the difference? They're all but the blink of an eye. True. Depends on your point of view. Man who's got a million crowns to spend can't possibly understand one who's only got 20. Very true. One's outlook can indeed change much. Nah. Let's give him a free... Well... Oh wait, no, he should ask now, but he didn't. But he asked about the, why we cling to life as mortals, but let's give him a, a final big All right. yellow question. give you one question. question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. What's in the box? For all parsimony, I'd say. But I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? I'd be an accountant. Like an idiot. No. Because being a witcher prevents us from being with Johnny. <laughs> That's Johnny. what interests you most? Whether I'd like to be a witcher again? Many things interest me, but we've not much time left. Please answer. Never chose to be a witcher. Fate chose for me. Had it been my choice, I'd have picked a different profession. A profession where I wouldn't have to risk my life every minute of every day. Maybe even one that had earned me some respect. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave, and thus a privilege of hey. the very few. I'm honest. Still no sign of your winged friend. <laughs> sure it understood what you wanted? Dead certain. Let's wait a bit longer. It'll return soon, don't doubt that for a moment. Gonna clean my mask. Gonna get sticky with all this booze or whatever that was. Mandrake juice. As a fat raven. Like a, it's like a duck. <laughs> Ever vigilant even in his sleep. Quite vampire like in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? I mean, I can regenerate eating raw potatoes and drinking water, so... As far as I know, none. Now what you got for me? 
You were right. No kobolds or baboons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spotted white. It haunts an abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Just paint some spots hmm. on it and it's a spotted white. Seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. Unmolested, you say? That's good. Because if it was molested, that would be very unfriendly to brands. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Hmm. It's gonna know be anything else about this curse? I don't mine. recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote. No more. Come on, search your memory. Something, anything could be important. Hmm. You know it to be true. I believe it had a relation to hunger. I am your father. No, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something. <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt. I try not to clutter my mind with the details of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. Hmm. What wow, are your very thoughts? Small a specimen of a species thought long extinct, and a curse, in one place. That a coincidence, or are they related? That a ah, plot device, or are curiosity. they? <laughs> Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the white's saliva. Nothing beyond that. I'll just ask it to spit in my mouth or something. I don't care. Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... spoons. Spoons? Spare me the skeptical smile. I'm but the bearer of this Smile? News. What? Well, perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder. Or well, the spoons are somehow related to the curse. I had a bunch of spoons, but I sold them. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its bruise. If you imagine the white will simply sell you some Worst spoon. case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. They ought to do as well. <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing as a thought, but the salivary glands will do fine indeed. So... Oh. See you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Does he have tomes? Does he have garlic? We're gonna make this decoction. What is that? Require one last ingredient. He has garlic. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right. Good luck. And to you, my friend. On his little pouch, I think he has garlic. Regis, is that garlic I see? Garlic. Oh, what a strong vampire. He's garlic. All right. So this was the hole I jumped in. What's this then? Is this gonna lead me to the same place? Hello. Before we go spotted white hunting you. You didn't come down here. You went to the other... He didn't come down here, did he? I, I saw him walk away. Alright, whatever. Whatever video game. I'm gonna steal his shit. Ah, look. Regen food. I'm sorry, but we appear to be bumfucking. <clears throat> That's not brand friendly. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot stop. All right, let's read his read his last thoughts. Last thought before falling asleep. I think that my friend Dietlef will die. I am sad. 
But he can only die if another vampire kills him, so is he gonna kill him and betray his trust and friendship? Lesh and Fang. Uh oh. The Lesh and. We just drank that. Regeneration. I don't know why I'm looting this. I don't need it. That's where I came from. And that's the other side of this place, alright. No, I could have just come down here the old fashioned way and not fight the uh the Kiki Moors, but Witcher's got a witch. Alright. So it's time to make a species extinct, I guess. Ooh. You there! Stay where you are. I don't want to bother you. Fuck, panthers are scary. You there! Oh fuck. I like how Geralt didn't talk about how the Syrian him fought the White Frost or whatever, the Wild Hunt together, because you know, players know about that, so why do you want to recap that? It's like, no, 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 we must tell that, talk about that other time, I must need to know about you, because people playing this game don't know about you, not necessarily. <laughs> Stupid. Ah, spoons! Door and Alma estate. Mm. They're making apple cider. Only Hungarians will know the reference. Because it references the language. <laughs> oh, it's I can locked I can from the inside, but got jostled pretty hard. Barely hanging on hinges. Hello? Is this This the... man is dying! What? Help me! What's going on? I was just about to break in and enter. I did the break in, but I never entered. Because you... The dressings, bandages, where did I put them? He's dead. Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. What? Oh, but he breathed still a moment ago. Death mm -hmm. comes swiftly. Breathed his last then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. God. What happened Thanks here, for exactly? the advice, Geralt. I, I was <laughs> rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him. Tress his He's wounds. Lying. Then you appeared. No, because I appeared first, good man. Stand and step away from him. What? Me? But what is your grief? Don't make me say it again. That's good advice. Nobody's rolling around, around fully loaded. My friend, Will you're you suspicious. Tell me what it is you seek? Revenge. Needed to see if you were lying. You'd be covered in blood if you dealt those wounds. Just got it on your hands, though. So all's in order. Who, who might you be, precisely? A witcher. The new chef. Oh. <laughs> do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? Not my concern, farewell. Ah. See what we have here. Legs broken, but cause of death's the wound. Small but deep. Edges unfrayed. Either what the hell a is that weapon or a thick thing claw. flying through the Maybe screen. Wyverns. Tough to say, and mm, breastplate's unusual. It's Dented. a werewolf. It's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. I deal in these things, so uh, what's puzzling is why did he don it? 
Not likely to learn that from him. Might even know where he came from. Got work to do, so... So long. Oh, well, your medallion is tingling, though. Wait! I will come with you! Bye. Mm, I mean, he wants to die, he wants to die. Mm, so be it. But stay close, keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Strange armor. Wounds unusual, too. What's going on here? It's gonna be a temporal rift! This man is from the olden days when the whites were still around. He came from the cursed place like that man and his horses. Look at the horses. One is brown, the other is even browner. <laughs> I see. Ah. The fog, it's unnatural. We are in another time entirely. I see blood, red, you. Gaston, you see those? Those are ghosts of the future. Yes, the future. Come, Gaston. If that is your name. Aha! Red. red. Let's look at red. Skeleton. The same armor. Must have been here he broke his legs. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property, probably, after he didn't manage to open the gate. Okay, so he fell from there, and that caused him to break whatever thingy kills you in minutes. Because it ruptures... well, it pierced through his uh, artery. Dude. I mean, if you uncontrollably fall, you might fall bad. Sure. So he was probably very panicked, because, dude, you can you can jump that easy. Like you can hop from there to there, no problem. Come on. So he 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 fell real bad. He didn't control his fall at all. What was chasing that man? What was happening? He tried to crawl away, though he was heavily wounded. Something horrifying must have been after him. Gaston, I'm sorry for breaking your door. Please don't kill me. Aha! A charred remain. Burned alive. Really high temperature at work here. Lepiota, thou art my defender and protector. Thou bringest good news. High temperatures, huh? How come the door... Is intact. Dun dun dun. Master Investigator Witcher is on the scene. Damn it. Good gods. That's a lot of people. What the hell's this? Setting for a banquet? It seems so. What's your suspicion? Did none survive? Gods. Extreme cosplay. Okay, so this guy is the evil dude. And he's just cosplaying as a random dude. Wait, is this the main quest? Am I on... Interestingly enough, the, the game switched from the main quest to this. It usually doesn't do that. That's why I thought this was the main quest. So this is something random. Alright. Well, my friend, there are certain things in the world. Learn more about the uh, spotted white. Oh, look there, the uh, the upgraded rock fiends. Maybe Fallout 76 makers took the idea from this, 
for the new ghouls that look retarded. Ah, the spotted white. Hmm, spit on me. Oh, <laughs> Igni and Yerden. Oh, I like this. Why did they get murdered? If they were uh, docile. Oh. Or just neutral, you know? Call the monster when the face is an unreasonable chill. They would slip into a state of lethargy, making them easy targets. But why were they destroyed? Fading Bruce from their own emissions. What? Free. Oh look, white. They barf. Barghests. They they can barf up barghests. What? What is a crown? Are we gonna try and ask for some spit first? You know. If, if that don't work, we're just gonna... Wreck its day. Oh, this one actually looked different from this one. This was a unique Shelmar. That is so weird looking. There's the red one. Ah, bar guests from Witcher 1. Little dog things. Ooh, nest. The hellhounds, basically. That is so ugly. There's the upgraded Brookser. Is this guy? Interestingly enough, all the fucking Akimaras were supposedly higher vampires, right? But they were a joke. You know, they were lamer than the Fledders. Look, Kyle. Hey, Barbara Mix, hello. Look, higher vampire. Katakan. Proto Fledder. Ooh, he's red. Sarasti. Another Brookside just looks the other way. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's Brooks, I suppose. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Do you have any plans for what you're gonna do when you finish Witcher? Why do everybody keep asking that? I'm never finishing Witcher, as you can see. Alright, I'll leave this guy here. Hey, hey! Do not dare leave me here alone! <laughs> Gaston! But I must. <clears throat> Gaston or Queston. <laughs> what? Hmm, it might fail the quest though. Let's drop a let's let's drop a full save before I do that. You just don't care about Witcher and you want to know if you need to be excited about anything. I don't know because I don't know what you are interested in game wise, you know, it's just you know I guess I could stream Tony Pro Skater 3 Hawk, but I'm not gonna. I, I really don't know. There are a bunch of things I want to stream still. But after this, I might do smaller games or just random stuff, you know? Um, some never-ending stuff like Rimworld or go back to play some Binding of Isaac, you know. I don't really want to... Oh! 
Oh, that. Oops. Why do I have that? Oh, because of the door. Uh. I think would be still XCOM. There's also one of the Metro games. Um, what is that? But I don't really want to uh, jump into a longer game right away, you know. But I could do what I did uh, back in the day and, you know, stream specific games on different days. I used to stream Grim Dawn on Mondays, then do something else on other days, and like on Friday I do something else or something. Why are there a lot of foglets around, huh? But I'm not sure. What is Our that? Guests. Never a good omen. Doggy. Oh no, they don't care. No. Stop, stop. the humble witcher ah! potatoes they don't drop their heads anymore so yeah um, for a while you don't really need to be excited about anything oh should I kill this thing Kind of pissing me off walking around. Come to me. I see you. Stupid. <laughs> you cannot beat Witcher's senses. Get away from me. Aha! My vision is too strong. Look how their legs just kick. Send them flying. I reckon this will take me, like, at least this week, you know? Maybe next week as well. Look, spoons. This game. This DLC. Because I'm gonna derp around and maybe not stream every day. Like, I didn't stream yesterday because I was... I was farming with my fucking Kua Liches. In Warframe, yeah. Kovalich sounds a bit dirty because, you know, Kurva and stuff like that, you know, just put an R to it and it turns into something nice. <clears throat> but that's not very brand friendly. So I shouldn't say that. Oh my god, fire! Little dragon dog. As long as it's one on one, they're gonna be easy. Just spam click their ass. So yeah, I'm sorry about Remix, but I'm kind of stuck in the Witcher. Maybe I will stream that Gwent game you uh You told me that they ha it has the drops, you know? Maybe I'll stream that so people can get some drops, maybe. That was all Barghests. Regis says Raven wasn't lying. Spoons all over the place. Those look like Barghests, yeah. They can just stay there, that's four. 
I don't really want to dance with four of them at the same Strange. time. Get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm, some message, trying to tell me something. And if I beat out the spoons, it's a warning, Geralt. How can you be so dense? Jesus. It's telling people to stay away. They don't want to... They don't want trouble. Ah, I'm here to kill the last of <laughs> uh, Jesus. I'm here to destroy the last of this creature's species. Will this Pugas come back? It better not. I don't see any source. What? There must be something underground. A volcano. Ladles too, not just spoons. That's a lot of silver. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. Steve. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Now they are trying too hard. Selling this cursed thing, it's definitely not a curse. You know? They're like, oh, it's all over the place. Ooh, spooky, spooky, curse, curse. Nah, it's not cursed. It's, 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 it's a fake out, you know? But Geralt is smarter than that. Geralt will walk in through a front door. Not caring about any curse. He already can't see himself in the mirror, come on. My Lynn, my dearest daughter. Rip. I only read like half of it. I was just kind of spacing out, yawning and stuff. As I often do. Aha! Uh -huh. I shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Oh. Said that you can't chain that more than once. <laughs> he would keep saying that for over and over again. Spoons, I have. I am the spoon now. Don't want to trigger the dogs, alright. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm on the t I'm on the roof now. How'd that happen? <laughs> well, Geralt is master investigator after all, so you know. We're looking around. As much as we can. As thoroughly as we can, we look around. Aha! Even here. Can I read that? Can't read it, but they put it there, you know. They they knew someone would come up here, and this might be some kind of decipherable text. Uh, it's already repeating on the bottom, so it doesn't matter. Oh wait, there's a way up here, right there. 
see some uh, magnifying glasses. Aha! A ginormous stone that came from the heavens, probably. Get out, look. Whee! Things. Loot appears when I eat, but I can't. I can't loot because I'm in the animation. I need to try something else. I want to loot it from outside. Please. Fit through this hole. Oh, get out! No! It wasn't as fatal as I feared. We can just climb up here. Now we can get to it. Crouch, Gerald. Just crouch. Oh, no. No. No! Alright. You're not stuck. Eh. I'm back on the top of the building. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to get to the to the roof, so you know. They don't really achieve anything substantial. I never do. Alright, so not much else. Walking. Well, that pig's tie. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. Oh, what about black saliva, Geralt? Don't be so racist. I mean, uh -huh. white's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Reading your diary. Reading your diary. Don't be mad. I'm just here for some for some spit. Uh, you know, some spit. <sighs> Someone's got the Catriona plague. Hair growing on my breasts. Oh, that's called being a man. <clears throat> oh, somebody's transitioning, huh? Ah, they wrote down ah. <laughs> ah. They fell asleep on the keyboard. <laughs> Because you have hair on your chest. It doesn't make you a monster, come on. I'm not a monster, am I? Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. The best spoon is your hand. Everybody knows that. Or just drink the soup from the fucking bowl. Smashed mirror. Or plate. If someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Monster. Journal's author, maybe? The monster. 
No spoon you have shall say to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Ooh, we can go downstairs. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. Need more spoons. Aha! None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It'd make sense. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Skin and bones. Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. <laughs> all right, Geralt, stop. It's too funny. All right. Oh, look at all them spoons! Dear Master Boa, I know. <laughs> Antidote. Oh. Slayer. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. Real collector. Spoon. Thoroughbred. Ah, this is the side place. There's the cauldron. Looking for. White's not particularly tidy. What's down there, Geralt? Master Witcher. Hello. Tidy YD. Oh wait, I drew spoons. Are these spoons? Thousands of them here. White's been a collector for years. My spoons. What if I melt the spoons? Melt them. <laughs> well, time to summon the white, I guess. Hello! Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. We gotta sit and eat with the white. The whitey. But first, we gotta steal shit. Alright. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. Afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. 
Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Oh, I didn't look. Geralt, you already came out as a nipple shower. You don't need to hide now. Oh well. Time to meditate. A real freak. Sleep in the closet. <laughs> Yay! There, we just ask it to spit on us. Hello. I guess I smell. We don't attack. Oh, we detached our spirit. We are drawn flying. Or maybe get out his long eyes. Oh, it tastes good. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wanna help? I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it. Hey! I wanna, I wanna be a guest and partake in your feast. Let me dine with you. Yum. You tried to bring folk here. Convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm going to be your guest now. Your willing guest. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to eat your food. Thanks for the chair. I like that spoon just vibrating. <laughs> just need a bit for Regis. And now we'll tend to you. Aww. the curse. Let's eat not using the spoons. Let's eat using the spoons. Let's swap spoons. Ah, That's cute. Alright, so maybe... Because it says no spoon shall sate you, right? So we shouldn't use the spoons. We should just lift the ball and just slurp that shit, you know? Like a true man. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get this right. Words of the curse were... None shall sit and dine with you at your table. The no spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. No spoon you have. So maybe swap spoons. I'm glad I saved. I'm gonna try swapping spoons because that's the spoon I have, you know? It's my spoon they are eating with. You know? Because they have a lot of spoons, but they don't work. And they and they probably tried the whole eat without spoon because they were slurping the brew or whatever that is the soup just a moment ago right they were just drinking so that probably doesn't work so we gotta swap spoons I'll give you my spoon you give me yours been searching for the right spoon for years right but curses can be tricky the key to this one just might be that you can't eat with your own spoon that's why we've swapped. Yum! What about the mirror, though? Just down in Garrett. This isn't right. I miss something? Listen, gonna stand up real slow. Gotta search the house again. Sit tight, I'll be right back. Calm down.
Damn it. Didn't work. Ain't that vile stuff for nothing. Got the brew for Regis at least. Can't do anything for the white though. Except cut it down. Gerald, we don't need to cut it down. Let it suffer. I don't want to kill it. Ah. The save. Let's see if it's a must kill operation. I mean, it is red. Must. It might be a must. I'll have to kill the white in its own junk heap. I'll get out stop. You don't need to do that. What was that about the mirrors? You won't see yourself in a mirror? A spring key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. I... I missed this, huh? Great. <laughs> good, good find. Spoonkey. Set was the item up for auction. Antique Spoonkey forced it to... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it belongs to Smeagol Circus, owner of the pheasantry. What do I do with the spoon key? You gotta load this back. This was before I engaged in whiteage. You're gonna grab that spoon key. See if anything changes. Maybe it leads us to the uh, to the beggar or something. Although that's been a long time, probably the person who made the curse probably died way way before. Spoonky. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. Spooky. Oh, it's at the top now. Where the pheasantry? Hmm. Hum hum hum. Let's see if anything changes if we have the spoon key. Maybe there's something we can. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? Because that's the only mirror in here. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced a rich man's table. Play with the dogs. Come, embrace your destiny. It hurts. Oh, we can just. I'm dead. Well, that makes this easy. I'm sorry. Hmm. 
Why were they just here? It doesn't look like anything extra is here. We have a teleportation. There's some sort of garbage walking around there. Well, I have no idea. I guess we're gonna kill it. Oh well. It is what it is. But before I do that, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> and try not to spoil it. For myself. Uh, what is this thing called? Spoon curse. Whatever. La Cage of All, of course. That. Bugs. Oh boy. Let's look at the bugs. No matter where you are in the main storyline, when Regis asks, Geralt says he found Ciri and they defeated the Wild Hunt together. Uh, so even if you come here before you do deal with the White Hunt, well, it might not be a bug, it might just be, you know, that's the only line they made for it. Fuck you, video game. Ah, my first intuition thingy was right. Don't use the spoons. God damn it. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Old spoon is a good spoon still. You know. Ah, so I was fucking right. But then I had to make it more twisted and... I tried to be clever, you know? Maybe, if we swap spoons... <laughs> but it doesn't matter what spoon. It's spoon! I should have went with the simple, because the simple was the right one. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. Uh, we just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. Uh, no choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands. And their bearer. In a spot that will let me observe the cauldron. So yeah. We don't want spoons. It was so obvious, but I was like, mm, maybe it's not that simple. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Like a man. The answer was be a man. God damn it. No spoon, just drink it. Hell yeah. It's so good. Open your eyes. You need to see your likeness. The mirror was the play. How clever. It hold on. Those look pretty. I want some too. Think it worked. Just not quite like I expected. You see? see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench. Instead of going down to the murder hole. 
we go upstairs and find that they turned back. Or we just fall down the stairs like an idiot. I want to sink. Hello! No, I can't interact with the mirror anymore. I see enemies. It started to barf up some dogs, it looks like. Hello! You sack of shit! My potatoes. Depre depressed? Hello! Depressed dog! <laughs> that noise! Whee! Sniff sniff. There it is, I can see it. Don't be afraid. Marlene! Not gonna hurt you. Eat. I must eat. Hey, we have the same hair. Nice. I'll take you someplace safe. But where? Shawnee's clinic is pretty far away. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You, you did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. I'm deeply pleased, finally, to make your acquaintance, sir. Though I do regret the specific circumstances. In all the commotion, I fear I neglected to introduce myself. I'm Barnabas Basil Folti, and by order of the Duchess, I am to surf as your major domo at Corfo Bianca. Oh, that's my place! Nice to meet you, Barnabas Basil. Of course. Love to talk more, but got urgent matters to attend to. While I'm gone, please make sure she gets everything she needs. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune oh, down that's what upon she did. himself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again, since she adored feasts. He swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. What about forks? I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons, and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? 
Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, it was the first, no white, oh. It's pretty damn hard to find willing human company ah. for a feast. God damn it. So, but most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. Mm. She will be in good hands here. Uh, well, so I'm guessing my stash is going to be somewhere here. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Maybe. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate Although to I the already Duchess. found my stash somewhere else. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink Corona. alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Right. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. And then roll fully loaded. <laughs> Ooh, thousand experience. Behold, so. sir, your estate in all its splendor. I'm gonna bring my shiny really here. Vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. A gold mine underneath the estate. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to major domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. <laughs> the servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasury. A oh, good nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you, as master of the domain, to know where the help stays. Yes. Ooh. Chicken poop. Hell yeah. That one is escaping. Go! I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, there's my horse. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Yeah, Don't cat. look at all bad now either. What's that in the distance, I wonder? Yeah, oh, that's the Cockatrice Inn. Oh, it was... <laughs> Did I... Oh, yeah, I ran through this this thingy. I ran down here. I, I, I completely skipped this. It was in the way. I... <laughs> oh, well. Now we down know. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's 
oldest. I ran through this. Aged in oak barrels. Wow. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Cinnamon? Marvelous. I love cinnamon. I have to try it one of these days. Ooh. Cinnamon. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. Wait, this was... He has suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. What? The festivities were coming to a close. And the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains. And began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Was this the place where the people were dead? Oh no, it wasn't. It looks different. But the well is the same. It even has the large washing thingy. Washing tub. For washing and bathing. Oh. How quaint! That's cute. Ooh. So he doesn't even have a name, he's just Major Domo? Monsieur Bolius, his wife Nina, kept a garden here. <gasps> A supremely lovely place it Fancy is. shit. A bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory. And once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Can I actually do that? Can I have a... Like a base where I can just come back to every couple days and loot herbs? Or herbs? Herbs? What is this? The sneezing never stops. Too much cocaine Madame in the nose. Nina <laughs> planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. <sighs> you can't do that. Oh, I can't even jump, huh? Can't even sprint. Hmm. Interesting. How quaint! This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roach. Uh... The cellars, voila! Oh, it is the place! During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the... Um, yes! Yeah. Which... I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Oh, that's his name, of course. It. 
I forgot his name already. Oh yeah, it is the same place, huh? So I've been here and didn't didn't even realize it was my new new place. Hey, good. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Wow, what a strong force you have. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom, on the right the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment the house is only minimally furnished, yet I believe we will together devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum <gasps> towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. I spend all Thank of that take on you up on that. Colors. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Right now. I mentioned the place could stand Ye to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. I the question sense. is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. The gardens. Discuss this later. Grounds. Got these spacious grounds. Mm, but maybe it's time to make them more uh, useful. Oh, yes. We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? No, I was thinking about the garden. I, I don't want the armor table, not a grindstone. It's fucking useless. I use my Q, not my swords. And do you see me wearing any fucking armor? Aside from my mitts and my, my, pa my boots. <laughs> Fuck you. If you don't mind. I of course, sir, as you wish. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Your breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. I understand, of course. As the venerable Lady Eve... Now what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today. I shall be glad to... Thanks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang painting. Oh, I can put my paintings from the places here. Like that thingy painting. Sorry, Naito or the Pontar or Hierarch like Hemmelfar. No, we're gonna do with this the Starry Night. Wow! It barely fits! What is this? What did I press? What's happening? Oh my books! Read! Oh. oh, what's that? What did I get? What is that? Oh, is that extra experience for like 24 hours, probably? Well, let's fix that. There, it's gone. We don't need that shit. Who am I kidding? More. There. Look, it's the painting. 
How beautiful. And I can put hammer fart over my bed. Like a real creep. For the Emperor. <laughs> Yay. Place trophy. Ooh! 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 Where's my stash? There you go. Stash. Trophy! I have a trophy. Succubus hair. <laughs> I'm gonna put this look of hair. What? You cocksucker. What, what? Then what trophies? D d d aren't these trophies? Roach. Trophy. 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 Maybe the, the pig stuff? What the fuck? Useless. Maybe because these are trophies from the, the from the base game. Kind of stupid. Kind of limiting. One, two, three candles. Candle, candle. Use. Oh my god, the first time Geralt has a bed. What is this? Rest here to gain bonuses. Library. 60 minutes. 5% bonus experience. <laughs> bed level noble. 500 vitality for 60 minutes. Uh, that's not much. Doo, 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 doo. I didn't know you can scroll wheel this. Bombs and potions gain an additional charge. Oh, look at that. Something that doesn't really matter anymore. Roche's stamina increased. Stables. Useless. Why sleep when I can just read a book, you know? Mm. What is this? Weapon rack. Oh, look, the shit weapon. I know what I'm putting on these weapon racks. A shovel. No, it's not gonna be a stupid shovel. It's gonna be the dwarven axe and the cheese sword. Here's the cheese sword. Emmentaler. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. The Emmentaler, and I can't put the Dwarven X there because it's not a sword. Even though it says it's a weapon rack, not a sword rack. I guess it's gonna be the Moonblade. Or Princess Xentia's sword. You know, I am proudly displaying this Princess's sword. I used it for a long time. Yes, even though it looks like an Elven sword or something. Very good. Armor stand. Ooh, I know what's going there. Oh my god, I'm playing fucking Animal Crossing, dude. That. Oh wait, I put it away, I'm stupid. Okay. Remember my... Days as a witcher. Uh, or, um, oh, look, you can barely see it. Wow. Look, it rustles in the wind. How are you doing, Marlene? Mm. Oh, tasty. Mm. So... Mm. Wonderful. Thank you. You're old. Anyways, what's up here? 
Ah, this is the guest room storage. Well, I know who's staying here. Smashed mirror. Kinda gives it away, doesn't it? The kitchen. We have plenty of fire hazards. Good, good. Very nice. My servants! Welcome. I've missed good um, day, good day. sensation in my ribs. We need to take a look at that. Oh, that hurts. What is it? Lepiota shower you with warmth. What? I work from dawn to dusk last night. Then give my Oh Jesus, this guy. Good day. Oh. I will inspect your the pile of work. Oh that's not a door. Whee. I did Leho. And she's in my place, I'm gonna loot his place. Yes. Give me your green mold. Yes. Step all over your bed. So, ah, how do you like it here? Burning, stopping sensation. Off of my my servants are dying. I don't want the dog. The days pass. The pile of work remains the same. Did it slip? My back aches. Something horrid. All right. Let's not restore Coro Bianco to anything. Garbage shit. But this water looks like fucking paint. What is wrong with this color filter or something? I swear to god. What is that, a corpse? All the women have stabbing paint. Oops, I just killed someone. Damn. Needs a lot of money and I just spent like 20,000 last time on, on, on dyes I don't even use. Yeah, that's great. Great! So sad. But we got ourselves an old woman. Got some spat. Think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? Ate it. <laughs> I cremated it, as our codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Pretty helpful creatures, calling them often. I try not to overdo it, but they can be so useful, as they were now, when I merely needed to be sure I could arrive in time should things go sour. Managed to find a loan, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned the last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement. But, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. 
As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. I'm fine with that. Dangerous? Why? I mean, you'll still be you, right? True. But I should be highly agitated. It's gonna in a go state on berserk. You know better than I that fury cannot be controlled. If you've ever seen an enraged vampire, you know very well that all who find themselves nearby will be in grave danger. How will we handle that? I'd rather not have you lunge at me, claws extended. That makes two of us. But worry not. I've thought it through very thoroughly. Details to follow soon. Ah, uh, soon? Well, that all depends on how quickly I forward this conversation. But I might never do that. You can just sit here and admire the light. Look at that light. That's not just some 2D sprite garbage. Look at that. That's actually pretty cool. Pretty detailed light, uh, I should say. Look at that. Alright, so what do you want to do? We shall visit Teshamudna, an ancient vampire estate. Pretty. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Let's go. Teshamudna. What's it like? It is a place of torment, a torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. Yee. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Teshem Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. Damn, that must have been boring. Six no centuries in the cage? Tesham would now. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some sangurium. Aww. A solution that sharpens one's sense of raven. smell. Raven. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. Uh, your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. Raven. You must remain calm. I have no choice. You killed your friend. As things stand, the die is cast. <sighs> High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. Hold on! My head's spinning already, and you're... There's a dude waiting for me. starting to smell quite tasty. And Our you're tanks? starting to scare me. He's gonna bite Geralt's nipples off. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. 
I really did you not go berserk not to hurt on the you. way here? Bunch of animals all over the place. Even walking down the road, you just run into fucking wolves and shit. That we probably killed. So, you know. Ahem. <clears throat> very, very convenient that nothing was out. Not even Kikimori's. You lead. Oh, look, there's a secret door. Oh no, somebody already died. Convenient. Smell the blood. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. How come he's not going crazy from the blood smell? He said a drop would smell like a gallon. Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. A dungeon, huh? Who's the dungeon master? Take me to your dungeon and spit on my nipples. I mean, <laughs> it's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. Uh. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire's blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout. Fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once, Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our world into this one opened upon this land and no other. This was the first place we saw. Victims been disemboweled, intestines ripped clear out. Scurvers have gnawed on this corpse, repeatedly. Victims been disemboweled, intestines ripped clear out. Scurvers have gnawed on this corpse, repeatedly. So they just saw the gate and they... They came through from their own world. Was, was the vampire world in danger as well? Was it dying? Why did they just... Come to this world? Like, ah, oh, look, a portal, let's go through, boys. And they just... Whoosh, flooded the place, you know. Scurvers, where you at? Ow. Looks like a giant battle arena. I don't know. Scurvers. Aha! I saw a ginormous shadow of a beast. I see you. Ah, it's something that can burn. A cockatrice or a basilisk. Come, feast upon my flesh. That's not a... Great feast. <laughs> Alright. Let's do the actual objective. A okay, raggish. Raggish. observed humans, their behavior, over the many years he spent breeding them. Not only suspect though it may be, it's a thorough survey of the topic. Breeding humans? Dude, we breed on our own, we don't need special care.
pandas, on the other hand. Those fuckers die. I'm not reading that. It's revolting. Unique. I still have this fucking <laughs> great beggar in my inventory. <laughs> Just a random mummified corpse. Master and slave. Ooh. Killing opponents restores vitality. The amount of vitality restores restored equals 1% maximum vitality for each element of the set worn. Currently, this amount is 2%. This amount is 3%, and now it's green. And apparently there are three more uh, parts of this set. So with each strike, we, we gain... Six, we can gain 6% of our vitality. I mean, that's not bad. What? Why am I toxic? <laughs> oh god, it's heavy armor though, probably. Yeah. I mean, it's better than my Mastercrafted Griffin armor. Probably not going to be better than the Grandmaster. Whoa, sticky keys, what the fuck? I guess I was... Meshing space, or space? Shift a bit more, a bit <laughs> too much. Are these pants good? Heavy armor, nah. Oh god, this is so ugly. Time to die, I guess. All right, what should we die next? Brown? Hmm. So yellow was actually not that bad. Orange might be good for the main armor. So I'm going to wait for orange to be four. We have brown and gray we can do. We've done pink. And that was horrible. And turqu turquoise or cyan, whatever. Turquoise. Is quite ugly, so we're gonna go with the brow. So we look like shit. That's actually not bad. Kind of fits the uh, the rest of the color palette. Oh look, the pants and the things are actually matching. Now. Where did it go? Oh. Oh look, finally a decent color for these ugly ass gloves. And the boots are not bad either. Ta-da! What the hell, that's not the... Why, why did that... Cool! Very cool. That's how I do it. Oh look, that was my, the first item I repaired in the entire game. Wow. What about the sword? Armor piercing. Uh, where's the other sword? This is more the mage, obviously. Pretty damage bonus and chance, bleeding and ch and stun. Ooh. But look at that sign intensity. And this one glows. And this one looks basic. Alright, cool. Geralt's ready to rumble. This place. There's evil here. Death hangs in the air. Yes. Great <laughs> many beings have breathed their last here. Cute. Skeletons having fun. 
course there's evil here, Geralt. It's vampires. I mean, what the fuck do you think is going to be in this place? It's a vampire torture sex dungeon. Very... Very much uh, non-brand friendly. You know? Hello, world! <laughs> I wanted to know. Must. I must look around. I'm having so much fun with this DLC so far. But the main story quest for the DLC itself does not interest me in any way. Oh, vampires. Yeah, sure. I like the aesthetic though. No, no, no. Ah, yes. Yes! Master Parkour Geralt. I wonder if there's a kill switch or it's just unsalvageable when you fall down there. Looks like on the map there's nothing down there. Sadly, I can't look further down. Oh well. Glyphs are carved into the rock, coated with blood used to be. They mean something? They're emblems, symbols of uh, what you would call tribes, dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to remind us all where we came from. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garishem. My tribe, and Detlaf's. We both remained in this part of the world. I'm stuck. I can't talk about this What's one. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east, beyond the Blue Mountains. Tadet! They have a little snake in their hand. Cute. Seems your kind assembled a peculiar little library. Indeed. Though I personally did not lay a hand to it. Oh, free range humans. Such a waste of space. Not efficient in the slightest. Might taste a bit better, but come on. Keep up with the demand. Oh my god. <laughs> Mask. I look like the uh, the guy in Dark Souls Three, the uh, the silent dude with the other person, that night person. Although he didn't have the hair showing because the mask was a helmet. Fucking slide off, Jesus. Look at that. <laughs> Great mask. Great mask. No, oh, Gerald, no, your face is showing. You can't have that. Put that away, sir. There we go. <laughs> Hideous. Let's do this in our brown pants so no one can see if we shit ourselves. But they can still smell. Cells? Oh, wow. Who for? Ah, disgraceful. 
excruciatingly so this particular page from my history. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's all right with you. Whose is this cliff? I'm a runner. They ventured beyond the sea. And this one? Which tribe's this? Garrison. Yeah. My tribe and Deadlouse. We both remained in this part. Kids! Of the they killed kids here. Whose is this cliff? I'm a runner. They ventured beyond the sea. How does he know? Why is this one suddenly red? We already know about these. What's this symbol mean? It's the symbol of the Tadet. Those who went east beyond the Blue Mountains. Whose is this cliff? I'm a runner. They ventured beyond the sea. A lover being. What the fuck? They were very interested in humans and they were like, wow, these creatures are sure trash. Oh, lower being, not lover being. <laughs> I can't read. Who are you? Human being is Ask Biscont. Why is all your skin trembling? I'm scared. Scared? You don't know what fear is? No. Feeling that destroys every other feeling. It's survival. Thought it was kind of pain. Carried out tests. The mother is subject to grief, and I be able to forget about the child. I think only about how to avoid pain. What? But sir, that would kill me. Yes, your mortality is a great inconvenience, but it was not but to be do. But if you take out the heart for examination, you're not gonna you're not gonna find what the heart does. What's this symbol mean? I mean it's the you, symbol of the you know, Those who went You'll east understand its anatomy, mountains. but and this one? what the heart Which makes people this? to do. Garishel. My look, the and gauntlets. Are they the creepy finger gauntlets? Oh wait, they look exactly like these. Just the di different texture on the uh, actual glove. Yeah. Should I go full edge lord? Four, five, four steel. So it doesn't have a silver sword. I guess vampires didn't need that. I feel like that's the obvious thing everybody went with. Everyone was like, wow, kick ass vampire armor. Let's wear this from now on. And it's like, nah, dude. And this one? Fuck that. Which shit. tribe's this? Garashem. My tribe and Deadlass. Garashem. We both remained in this part of the world. Whose is this cliff? I'm a runner. God, stop. They ventured beyond the sea. Well, my cat ran out, so now we can't see Jack. Charming place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Thus, they also kept humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagma ranted and raged in pain as those... those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas. To the good dog days. Feel shame oh. for my brethren. Well, he just swallowed his... Uh, do. Don't take it so hard. Satchels and Nothing strap. you could have done about it. Oh, well. Let's get to work. Well, that was awkward. Fine. I prepared the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The scent will spread most effectively then. 
Why didn't they do that as we were coming down? Place the bait at the tunnel and Oh, it. these tunnels. Never mind. Monsters Sorry about that. Catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, send shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. Show off. Necrophages? Stop flying around, you fart. Jesus. I can't put it here. Necrophages, huh? So I'm just gonna summon a bunch of those assholes. Three done, one left. Think this'll work? I certainly hope so. I mean, stench is so thick and wagering carries clear to Novigrad. I doubt it. You know, wind, wind is a thing, you know? Wind. Yes. Oh, those gloves are so disturbing. It's like his skin is there, but, you know, it's not. It's like he's wearing some human skin on his skin. Cage. This will hold. Doesn't look like anything special. I told you, Kagmar thrashed about inside it for over two centuries. Appearances can be deceiving. Yeah, so it's a very weak cage. A very old, very weak cage. That's not gonna hold your ass for long, probably. Like, look at this. Two centuries, it's like bent and stuff. It's like battered. That's not something I trust you with, but hey! Go bait set. What now? I shall enter the cage. You must chain me inside. The bars are made of a coin that will prevent me from transforming into mist. And I thought you wouldn't want to. I should be in great pain. My sole thought being to stop that pain. I cannot know what I will do. What about your clothes? Are these magic? Maybe they are made from vampire skin. Or maybe it's we must hurry. Skin. The beasts have caught the scent also my head. I started spinning. Is that the blood? We didn't really chain him. Someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. <laughs> He's a thirsty boy. Bye. It's time to get fucking trashed. Maybe we need a safe word. You know, something you'll say when you can't take it anymore. Don't see me. Why not? Who knows what's gonna come around? You know what, let's put on the relic though. Oh wait, that's just superior? Oh, they're all just superior. Just that's and what would you do once I Brad Don't know. Uh, calm you down. Somehow. Please. You won't be able to. He screams so loud, I can hear what he's saying. Mm -hmm. We just have smelled the blood. Ah, oh, yes, baby. Blood. Oh! It's a big one! It's a platter! Oh, 
It's another big dude. Hold on, I'll let you out. No! Uh -oh. I didn't kill it, come. Cut the nails first, Gerald. Now leave him. We don't need to hang on a little longer. Blood'll dry in a few hours. Scent won't bother me anymore. Wow. Get you out of here. Taking its toll. No. Okay, so that was so hard to get out of. Geralt is literally ripping it apart. <laughs> what a cage. You can't finish it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help how are you. the skeletons in one piece? Wait. How what? Uh Any better? Far from ideal. Don't join. Some time must pass before I fully recover. Like disappear yes, after better. your Thank skeleton. You. Like how, how are the bones attached? Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture, what would you have done? I mean, he said it. Found dead love some other way. I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No, because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you, the pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detlaf. <sighs> if I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Whatever. Resonance, it's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation it could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Very well. In that case, let's begin. Did he drink already, or...? But it looks like it's on the table right there, unopened. Or is it just surplus? Oh god! Too bright! Excuse me! I shall only take a moment. You jump the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand, I have a meeting. The Sir, you were next. Please, take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. He has anger problems. <gasps> Friends. And then he kills him. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlam? That. He laughs at that. <laughs> and then Mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh?
But at least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. What? His cursed hand. It's your fault, hand. Get out of here. It's the god hand. <laughs> yeah, those, those fingertips and fingernails are not suspicious at all. Nah. No one would be like, wow, those are nasty looking. Awake at last, you ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes, that you'd <laughs> departed. <laughs> the armor. Uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems dead laugh had made friends with him, still killed him, chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury, remorse, cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm, interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless, was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal, everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly, the situation provoked such emotions in Detlef. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. And no shit. No different in that regard. Did you see anything else? There was something. Showed up twice in the vision. The boot black stand. Detlaf first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Detlaf. Hmm. That would be even odder. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. And he rests for another 200 years. Alright. Wow, another level up. Jesus. If only I had something to spend these points on. Now we can go into the wild. I swear there's some kind of color filter. Also, we're gonna go back to Novigrad because... There's something I need to do. Oops. Oh, look. Uh, what? This was missing. Or maybe I'm just tripping or something, but this crest wasn't here. <laughs> what the hell? Interesting. We need to do the... Uh... The elf, and I again forgot where he was. Was this the elf? Elf store here? This is the brothel. Maybe it's here, next to the brothel. I have no fucking clue. Because I have the uh, the Silver Swords Grandmaster, right? Or something. I have I have an upgrade for one of the swords. One of the Griffin swords, that is, so... I guess we're going back.
Back to the elf. Racism. Yeah, during in, in the rain this looks pretty cool. This armor. Oh, this is some kind of stupid square. Rain like this would fetch a fortune in Fuck. Oh yeah, this one has the random dude, of course. They'll give you the keys to the city. God damn it. So it's here. painted black it's gonna be like black and gold and like the scabbards but instead of black and gold it's more like black and bronze I guess copper I don't know. there's also white and gray and and the orange I still need to try There's the purple. Oh. The eye, which, uh... Trouble? What do you seek, pain giver? <laughs> 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 Greetings. Greet Listen. Cool. Silver sword. Feline griffin. Superior. Master crafted. So long. It's already master crafter. What? Greedy. Greedy. But, but I got some Listen. formula for a sword. Maybe it was a it was a double, like it was the same fucking thing. Maybe it was for the Orsine. Black unicorn. Nice. Hmm. Well, I guess this was a waste of time. Wait, this costs money, fuck. We don't have money anymore. But we can sell garbage. And that's good. Uh, I don't care about these anymore. I mean, I could sell the Tasha Mutna, but I'm not gonna sell it to an elf. It's the last thing I'm gonna do. So long. Elf. I 
guess I was mistaken. I still don't know where you get the Grandmaster garbage from. Mutant. Oh. Wait, what the fuck? Where is it showing me? Where is it telling me to go? Oh, this one is closer, apparently. Okay. Didn't even realize. What a cough. Alright. Let's talk to this shoe shiner guy. The Hunger Game. Hey, that's not the Hunger Game. Oh. I see. It, it doesn't end there. I guess she ate her food. Wasn't the die place here? Wasn't it die? Die? Oh no, the die place is here. I'm gonna visit the die place right quick. We can buy some orange Ooh. or something. Because as we all know, I want to die. <laughs> Maybe that's why the water is so ugly. It's like oil spill or some paint or something. Because they wash all the dyes here. Right? I wouldn't drink from this water. Ugh. Here's some free advice, Witchman. If you've no reason to live, live to spite others. Wow, what a womanly thing to thing to think about. Okay, so I see the cloth. It, they are basically the broken uh, f flame swallowers, right? You see that? Sheet going through them. That's the cloth they are putting in the the dye, the paint, or supposedly doing it. But it's in them. Oh, she swallowed it. Were the good prophet Lebioda lively and spry, fuck up. from me he would everything buy. What dye? Fine. What dye? All dye. Orange. Okay, so we have the gray. We have a lot of gray. We have the brown. The green and the orange are the only ones. And the blue is so ugly that I'm not even going to use that. We're gonna buy two greens. Oh my god, these are expensive. The two ones. Whoa, we are so lit. <laughs> wow. Leadage. Can I sell my grab here? No. So we have the the colors. Great. Gotta gotta bounce, boy. Brownie's nice. I, I like this one. It's simple, but it it works. Time to ruin it. Actually, I seen the blue on the pants, right? Oh god. It's not bad on the uh the chest piece, but the boots are ridiculously ugly. You're gonna go full orange. Yeah. No, actually we're gonna go ugly. We're gonna go green. Oh I Come on, I thought it was going to be some neon-colored bullshit. It's actually pretty decent. You look like an olive. 
You're a big olive. <laughs> Geralt the barreled oil. Olive barrel. Yes. I saved up money for 160 hours just to waste it on this shit. Colors! Oh. Alright, shoe shiner. Where's the shoe shiner? Come on. Caught you, you little. Oh, fuck. So, how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots, go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? I'm an olive. His father. <laughs> A witcher, and I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like. Times After change. we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Oh, I'm gonna get beat Hold up again. It. Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. I can't do fucking three on one. Oh, wait, I can roll. I couldn't roll during the uh, unicorn brawl. What the fuck? That would have made all the difference. Rolling. You see? Because if you can roll, you can just throw away. That guy just teleported. Okay, I didn't even touch that guy. Why couldn't I roll in the previous brawl? Bullshit. Oh, what is that in his hand? What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? The child. I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? They're drunk. Obstructing my investigation. Understood. Right. A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede official touchy business. Yeah, Come fuck them. Oh no, my scabbards have ugly turquoise on them. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. But he was emptying the chamber pot, obviously. I mean, he's a smart kid. Smart. Yeah. How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard. And as you're the stronger, come morning you'd take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so what say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. No. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they just come off my stamp. A seat, sir, please. So then, one of you. How? Let what? Egg. Hm. I sh no, no. Yeah, I'm. No. No. Don't have. When I. It's. No. Oh. I am. Young with it. Uh, In. I'll. Worth. What's. Thank. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Are we. Oh, fuck. I think. I think this is okay. I have to unequip my boots for this. I want to know what Geralt says. Is he gonna say, well, but I'm bare feet? <laughs> I must know. Also, no fucking filthy fuck is going to touch my shoes.
I can clean them for myself, thank you. Alright, we are already green. This is the strumpet, so this is before the fight, okay. Okay, we're gonna go all in. <laughs> Caught you, you little do, 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 do. Fart. So how you can freak us? I'll leave it. Just Oh, I need you can gonna Not say smoke. the same things. Lad! We'll break no. your legs, vagrant! Teach Shackle you to have Shackle him! Yeah. Mumsy! Pathetic. What's the... I'm in... Ah. Obstructing my investigation. Ah, come on. There we go. I don't have boots. You're very good with your feet. Yeah. Sp and a bit about the. I've got so. Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait. Before we get to talking, please take a seat. Uh. I prefer going barefoot lately, <laughs> but fine, have it your way. Yay! He sits in the mud! Step up! Have a seat! You shan't regret it! Wait, did he put on boots? He put on boots and he put on the other folk boots! Yay, it's a sign! So then, That's a who sign. was it you wanted to ask about? <laughs> One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock, not from around here. An arrival. Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box, too. New polishes, new brushes. And, if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. No way. Not about to contribute to your shady venture. You'll tell me what you know for free. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Okay. As you wish, sir. I know the fellow you seek. So I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, yeah. if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. He In pays fact, well. He's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red, but I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might oh, he has leave. fingers. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. It's just distilled alcohol. Uh, potato. It's a sign that we are not wearing anything else but the other folk boots from now on, so... Goodbye, master crafted griffin thingies. They were ugly, anyways. 
Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. <laughs> Tell me your secret stuns, man. Give us a fiver. No. Better to die of drink than of boredom. Whoa. Whoa, Spider Gerald. Look at that. <coughs> Hurry up, Regis. Need to find the red door. Somewhere. Aren't we coming here? Like, we're coming from here, like... What did the kids say? Because I wasn't listening. God damn it. Let's stick to it. Red door. One that Boot Black mentioned. Oh, this one. <laughs> we're already there. Budge, gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum, and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Look, Let's hear your you. idea. Give me a moment. Oh my god, his belt. It has a mind of its own. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? Skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Dull but secure. For him. A look at Teddy Bear. And more spooky. He here sense him. Him? No, he's not here. But he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Let's look around. Another level up. Wow. Video game, please stop. Die solution? I still don't know how to make die solution for myself. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. What a shame. That looks bad. Better. All right. What kind of toy this one's? I know I am little, but I also know that toys are not really alive. What? I don't care. Oh wait, oops. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. Is he becoming a toy maker? 
the lair of the Time Maker. With false pretenses of godhood. No dust, Mark. Ah. Somebody moved this here recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Yeah, no shit. That's why they are here. Nice little trinket. Oh. It's a collectible. It's a knight. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Dead. <laughs> Lifeless. Boy. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. These puppets rather disturbing. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Attic. Let's go. Nice little trinket. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. <laughs> hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. No dust mark. Is it gonna find Somebody the puppets disturbing again? The puppets are alive. Puppets. Why is this puppet in the so way? This is his nest. Need to look around. Well, well, well. Nice little trinket. I find these puppets rather disturbing. Woman's <laughs> likeness. It's smudged. Is his lover? I don't rightly know. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. <clears throat> Gerald. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Gerald is amnesia again. It's suspicious. Oh. Detlaf van der Eretain, you do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. I don't care, he dies. Any idea what it could be? Detlove have any enemies? Indeed. Detlove gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renoed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him the time before he came around to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Why do you think that? Any signs or clues to that effect? None to be found. Apparently she disappeared one day. Her belongings disappeared with her. Not a scenario one associates with kidnapping. In my humble opinion, she left on her own. Scared off, perhaps, by a bout of Detlaf's rage that revealed his other, more monstrous side. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Deadloff ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important. Higher vampires have their ways. All kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks. Leave no way for him to find her. Even if Renoued did abandon him that time, Looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that. And hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her. Get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer, 
No. He kills for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, oh, those individuals, Yennefer. they mean nothing to him. No one cares about Yennefer. Yeah, uh, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. A female? Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Happy post Women's Day. Post day. <laughs> Ah, this would have been perfect on Women's Day. God damn it. Why'd I ever stop? Why do I ever stop? Tools were used recently. Detlov unwind by fixing toys between murders. Uh. Really, now, Geralt, must you? Nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. A true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Tools were used recently. Detlov unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really, no, Geralt, must you? Tools I were see. used recently. Detlov unwind by fixing toys between murders. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Crispy. Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de Lacroix. Detlov's victims, one and all, but that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. There's one left, he said, so we know where he's gonna go if we know... See the color? The dude. Ink was dyed with cinnabarite. Rare mineral, pretty much found only in... Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained. With wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Blackmailer. Kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself it's insisted the, on murder. the High Lady or whatever Blackmailer she's skilled. Her name is. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. It's now that be... I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Rare ink. So, you know, probably expensive to import. Wine in this place, but on the rare ink letter. It's, it's gotta be the, the queen or whatever she is. The leader of this this town or country or <laughs> what the fuck. The one who, who ordered us here, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be that... Like that side quest in the base game the, with the with the werewolf. I know you love her, but you're supposed to love me, so I made you kill her. Rawr! And then he kills the other bitch, and then I kill him, and everybody dies. You know that that kind of quest. It's gonna be that. It's gonna be that. I I, I swear. Let's sum up what we know. Seems dead laughs being Jeez. blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted down using one and the same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detlaf's innocence, clearly. No. Not how I'd put it. Doubt it's how the Duchess will the see Duchess, it either. The Duchess, that's I the I trust word. you to convince her. And then... What? Go on, don't be shy. See, you've got it all figured out, including the grin I gotta wear. It's a rather bold plan, but were we to find Renawed, we would strip the blackmailers of their hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm, could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Three days, right? Think he'll listen? He will. Not a wit with you, maybe. No, he'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. So, I waited... at least seven days for that 500 crown. Garbage. So, if this was indeed timed... 
this would already be failed, you know? Three days, and he only needed one more to complete his thing, and then I went on doing other shit. Yeah, so... What is time? Lo and behold, is he better? I've had enough. Oh, God, suckers! Ah. All of it. Report to the Duchess. Every witcher I've known has been a swell lad. All is in order! It's gotta be the Duchess. I'm going to hit. It's gotta be. Eat, drink, and listen your parents. For you are in too soon. Ah! A questicle. A spy with my eyes. We must collect the questicle. Ow! I'm drunk and lonely. Here in Beauclair, all's right and fair. Same. Take me home with you. I don't have a whole nice tune. Disperse! Ah! <laughs> Please disperse! The exhibition is closed! Why? Give me that painting, I need it for my estate. What's this about? That I do not call oh, home. You to give me strength. I can't bear this! Please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Right? Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? No. I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Here it is. Our pride and joy. He's naked. Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman. And atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Somebody stole the testicles. Of a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group oh, through I was the just meditating. quite recently. <laughs> Stones were very much in For place. half a day or so. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must, as long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. It will work out. It must. <laughs> Alright. For 
are some bowls. Bowls. It will all work. Any bowls? You. Do you seek someone? I seek bowls. What's new, Sterlux? Looking for diversion? Aha! A clue. Piece of coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. What a coin getting. Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. You shall be whole again soon. Aha! They cut themselves with the diamond saw blade because they were stupid. Or maybe that's wine. It's probably blood. We're gonna follow the stench of the testicles. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. It A blood. Dried blood stain. Gotta look for blood. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. You shall be home. It will all work out. Oh no, we're looking it for must. the scent of this. Oh, not the blood, because it's dried. Of course. Hello. I beg your pardon. Blood on his jacket. What's love? <laughs> Put your own house in order oh. first. What's new, Silver Lock? Oh, she started moving. Diversion? Oh my God. Okay. So, no, no. <laughs> oh, Do you seek someone? My heart's about to burst from a surfeit of beauty. Are you gonna start sliding too? Good health to you. Game of the year. Alright. Pull the stench. What's new, Silver Locks? Looking for diversion? You. <laughs> what the fuck this was that? face no ointment could help. Ah. Oh. Hi. oh my god, his sword is Where floating. His sword is floating. Hey, don't step on me. It's a sorcerer. Work doth one ennoble. Mm. Stop doth one no. Can I help you in any way? Greetings to you and your family. Greetings. Oh, sir, you've been to there again. Consider yourself greeted. I lost yes, the smell. The face, no ah, born we won't. So, the morning after, is it? Wait. What is this place? Where am I? think it's the place. Oh, wait, there's more. Is there a person in here or something? Oh, they have a cool chair. More books we can read. Let's see if any of them are new. letter oh that's yeah and the names yes 
no point. To Smell this appears. Look. Ends. Oh no, it doesn't end. I'm just fucking blind. Whoops. My bad. It's fair, the colors are so different in this fucking DLC. Sand leads to this door. <laughs> I hear signs of struggling. Oh. Who? Sorry to interrupt, I guess. It's the Pelar. Uh, this, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, uh, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Yeah, sure. Psst! Shoes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> That's not my husband. You mean, not, not your husband? Who are you? And why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! Watch your tone, Grant. Both of you Just are evil. Talk. I... Uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. You're a thief and the other oh, one is do. cheating. We do. Just to kick things off. Death. You're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. Well, I'm a renegade. Cut the bullshit, Hughes. You stole Reginald's testicles. Know that already. I... Uh... I can explain everything. Uh, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You and that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shellican skeleton! What the love's this? <laughs> Rosalinda! One I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, you got, got four to do ones. with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool! What a dude. I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! You heard me. Calm down or you'll wind up picking your teeth up off the floor. Tough, are you? Come here! Come on, you scamp! Cuckold. Um... That's the same old, same old. I was like, sure I'll let him beat me because, you know, he needs to win. But then I saw his name. I'm not gonna let a couple Aww. beat me. <laughs> Get out of here, stupid fuck. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving I beat you up. Skin. And then I beat the woman mm -hmm. up. So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. Get dressed. <clears throat> All right. I admit I stole the stones, and you will never believe it, but they work. Oh my god, his eyes. Today, Rosalinda and I, well, three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Eh. Isn't it? At my age, that's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. And we gotta chop your hands off. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. No. Hmm? 
Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me... He's gonna have a heart again. attack if he keeps doing this. Oh, get fucked. Justice. No chance. Need to take the stones, pure and simple. But... But if you were to leave them with me for, for a day or two, uh, three at the most... Shit out of luck. Sorry. At the day's end, it's good I had a chance to use them at all. Here, take them. Thanks. And good luck. Actually think you'll do just fine without them. Placebo. But a smart door just closes after itself. I wonder, do I have any completed things that give money? By my troth, it is the witch. Greetings, knight. Huh. I guess they don't. Well, see you. Go in peace for a night. Oh. No point complaining. I guess let's complete the uh, the tasty run. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh. oh. Have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus luscious lips, it's them! Oh. It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Well, whether it's stone or not, I don't stroke others' balls, so... I think I'll skip on that. Whee. How is it the Duquesa does not feed him as well? Oh look, she's not sliding anymore. Okay. Back to the reporting, because I kinda I got derailed I by balls. Can I teleport closer? Yes. Greetings. To be honest, every Why do they have all these fucking kids running around? Jeez. It's like a kids of the servants. Oh fuck, it's not here. It's indoors. Noises. Ah. Your Grace, I have doubled the guard. The palace is secure. Hmm. And what of the funeral preparations? As Your Grace wished, the deceased will be buried with the highest honors. And our dearly departed Milton de Perak Peran shall posthumously receive the Order of Adamata. Hello. Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. Yes. <laughs> I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. Oh my god, she's We've green been now. Hooks. We're you green. <laughs> You're all green. <laughs> what a coin kidding. <laughs> Great. Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. 
Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for it. a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses! Ha! Your Grace, I shall assemble a battue. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Wait, I did find it. Why didn't I... What the fuck, Geralt? Did I choose the let's cover for the vampire option? Fuck, I need to reload this. Uh. Go ahead. To for you have to the do 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 creature. Do do do. Some yeah, Mon This never happened. Try to. I cannot believe no one. Black. This one. You do. I'm sorry. Alpha. You. No. Hmm. God. You. Yuck. Which Ben? Mm. It's it. That's perhaps. I don't want to know. Please we, let this be over. We, we, for the do we. Yes, you. Yeah. Fuck. Ready to go. No. Excellent. No. Wow. Stop. Oh my God. No. Thank you, Jesus. Um. Well, we are reversing, <laughs> reversing time. I didn't mean to cover for the fucking vampire. I want to kill it. I'm a witcher. You know, that's what we do. Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. Step aside. At last, Witcher. Found the beast of Beauclair. Just couldn't kill it. We sent you after a monster and you return with oh! nothing? It didn't mean we a thing. very disappointed. <laughs> Situation's not quite that simple. Hmm? Beast's a powerful vampire. <laughs> is this a problem? The illusion of choice. Is it too much for a witcher? Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stick. And Buckthorn? Silver so Excuses. Ha! <laughs> Your grace. Uh, alright. Well, it, it looks like it doesn't matter what you choose. So, you know, let's, let's, let's do the same. Go ahead. The same Send thing. them to their death. Certain death. To a lone witcher, perhaps. To forty of my men at arms, but another skirmish. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different, unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats, others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires, Alps, Ekamaras, Catacans, for instance. Didn't Catacans count as higher vampires? Sure, attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven wow. by reason. A curious contention. Well, I mean, what then do you Humans to are do? monsters driven by reason. You know? It's way beyond being some monster. 
This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. And we could melt it and put it into a box that we put into another box. Then we pour cement all over it and then we put that into another box. Like the Merithium box or something, you know? And then we bury the fucker. It's gonna stay as a puddle. In a box, in a box, in a box, in a box. Underground. Easy. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? Kill it. Oh. I actually don't have a choice. I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him. She's the blackmailer. Not Easy. help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! He starts hopping. In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Erveluz, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? The nose. Witcher? Show him the paper scrap. The human bloodhound. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? No, it was in the witcher's ass pockets. I only smell farts. Mm. Mm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the saint Retour. That, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, Ew. deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. Saint Real, the 1269 vintage. Of course. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello, especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some Saint Real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. The sun See is setting on your incident. ploy. You are found out. Give up yourself, Duchess. Saint Real. Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the Ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. Wait. 
Your Grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. You never were? Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Now we are ready. Absolutely. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. Whatever color you choose, we're gonna mimic it. Because apparently that's how this goes. Both yellow, both green. Alright, black it is. <laughs> Look at my horse. Fucking all the bling on that horse. Very brand friendly. That was a zooming deer. This vampire. You have a die for every occasion. Haha. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna end it on a cliffhanger, as I do, so. Have you ever faced it sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Geralt! Why do you flee? Witcher, come back! You're to protect her highness! Bye. What? <laughs> they just why do you flee as they ride on and I'm just standing here well fuck so... where are we oh we're going to the thorny grounds wait the palace is here and we are riding from here this direction why We're going to Castel Rovello. Oh, I turned around. Oh yeah, I turned around, my bad. I turned around on the map. Yeah, okay, so I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm like, why are we going? Yeah, so we went like this, and we're going to Castel Rovello. Look, they are over there now. Are they still going? Let's see. Give them some time. Oh yeah, they're still going. The, the indicator is moving on the minimap. God damn, they're going to get there before me. What if I wait for them to get there? Then I turn back, go to a teleporter, and just poof. I guess we skip the dialogues. But I mean, it makes sense, because you could have said, or I could have said no, and let's meet here, you know? It looks like they stop at the, uh, the bridges. Anyways, I mean, I'm gonna reload this, so yeah. Thanks for watching, if you're watching. Hope you're enjoying this. Oh, this game will never end, I swear. Today we encountered the sliding lady, the floating sword. What else? I think there was something else, but I don't remember. And we, we fought some Barghests. Very good, very good. More Witcher 1 enemies. I like, I like that. So yeah, uh, next time on Witcher 3, the game that never ends, uh, more of this. Goodbye.